generally I like to get a good amount of my coloring done before I get too far along in a project. I also do a lot of VFX work. So today I'm going to show you my DaVinci Resolve to After Effects workflow. Okay, so pretty much you want to have a good bit of your editing done. It doesn't have to be 100% done, but close enough so that you don't have tons of clips everywhere. You kind of have everything exactly where you want it to be. And when we go to deliver, we will select the Premiere XML. Doing it DNX HD, so it's 1080, 10 bit. Add to render queue, and we're gonna render so now that you have exported your XML, you'll open the XML in Premiere Pro, then save that Premiere Pro project as whatever you'd like in the same folder area. And then go ahead and close out Premiere Pro, and now we'll jump into After Effects. We'll go in here and import Adobe Premiere Project. Find it. And it'll just bring in all the individual rendered clips. You do want to make sure that when you import the project that you have it create a composition. So we'll open that up. So you will see here, you have tons of these little clips everywhere shortened and they have little tails that, so you can make them a, like slightly longer. So generally what I will do is I will duplicate it a couple times just so I can have smaller workspaces. So I'll go to this one and I'll go to the first 30 seconds trim comp to work area. And then I'll go to my second duplication and I'll start that one, the next set of 30 seconds. And the game plan is pretty much just have sections for each part of the video. And then um, once you do that, pretty much to just clean up everything that's not in that range, we'll just delete all those. So now we have something a lot more uh, tight knit to work on. So I can pretty much um, work on transitions, special effects for just smaller sections. Now that you have your sequence edited the way that you'd like and all the effects done, there's two ways you can um, go back to DaVinci. The first way that I do is I created these sequences the way that I wanted them, and I'm just gonna bring all those sequences back into DaVinci all put together. I'm going to keep the amount of bit depth and all that stuff by keeping with the DNX HD. But if you're on Mac, you can do ProRes. However, there is a script that you can install on After Effects called RD Render Layers, and you just run that script and you'll be able to export a composition as individual clips. You have a little more wiggle room with where you want things to be. So I know this method might seem like a lot of work, but it's been working for me for the past couple months and for what I use it for, it works out fine. I hope it was useful. So go ahead and uh, let me know if this helped at all or if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Also stay tuned to the Video and Company podcast that will be released every Monday on YouTube and check us out on Spotify as well. Got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of cool things coming up. <laughs>